Greetings, Earthlings. Will, aka UF Flow, here to give you a tutorial on how to make your own LED dragon spokes out of a one wheel bike spoke system, which you see right here. It comes in two parts, they just kind of fit together right like that. And other than that, what you will need is some little rubber leg tips that will go over the outside of your staff. See, this is a 7 8 or 22 millimeters, so it fits exactly on there. And some of this uh, rubber, it's like a weather strip sealer, and I use that just to beef up those little tips. And then electrical tape. Cool. So what do you say we uh, get going now? What's really cool about this is it's actually just controlled through an app on your phone. So what you can do is you can use pictures that you have, you can download pictures or GIFs from the internet and upload them here. There's a bunch of stock stuff that they have that you can download from their app. But it's overall pretty rad, especially for the price. Uh, Amazon, you can find it for around 70 bucks, which is not too bad, 70 bucks each. And um, it's USB chargeable, it's a six to 15 hour battery life. It's water resistant and yeah, I'm digging it. <laughs> now, the first thing we're gonna do is get this right here all taped up. So I'm sure there's umpteen ways to do this and I thought about doing adhesives in there and whatnot, but E-tape works just fine. So what you're gonna do is get in there and just tape this up as tight as you can. Now, the whole idea is it's gonna hold itself on the staff using compression. So the more you could have it be a little bit in, the more it's gonna help you so that when you put it on that little rubber stopper, it will then compress onto it, stay nice and tight. So you're just gonna get in there and like pay mind to all these little joints and stuff like that. And watch out for the USB charging port right there. Definitely don't tape that up, unless you wanna cut it out later. All right. And voila, look at that, we're all good. Got these two connected so that they may talk to each other. And wee, wow, that one's all fucked up because this is the one I broke, whatever. <laughs> so now what we're ready to do is get on to make our rubber stopper. So obviously, this is the stopper on its own. Way too small to fit in there and have it actually compress around. So what we're gonna do is get it all beefed up. So. First of all, what I did was I used one of these little guys right here, just a drill bit that kind of, it's the exact size of that right there. So what I did is I cut that hole so that the staff may freely go in and we're then able to get our hub into the end. Cool. First step is using our weather stripping. Just gonna kind of get that measured out first. Bang bang. Cut it there. And then peel off the self-adhesive. And this is just to get it beefed up a little bit. You can just use tape and tape the crap out of it, but I figured this might be a little bit lighter and easier. So tried to set it up right there on the edge. Wrap around, and perfect. Now from here, you just start taping the crap out of it. And what you're gonna wanna do is keep it like fairly loose because if you start taping it too tight, it'll be really hard for you to get this on and off of the end of your staff. So, I'm just gonna tape it, and basically get it built up to the point where it looks like that. Cool, so now that you have your rubber piece all ready to go, what you're gonna do is then put that on your staff. And what I did is I kind of have it tapered up to that spot so that when it goes on, it's not gonna go inwards, like towards the inside of the staff. So we'll get this puppy on. Eh, should be pretty tough to get on in a sense. I mean, you definitely want it to be nice and tight, but you know. A little one of those. And ideally you want it to come all the way up to the end of your staff. So you see right there, it's just a little bit shy. I'm gonna keep it going. And voila, right up to the end there. So 
you have, you know, this would be the center of your staff over here, coming to the end. Now what you're gonna do, put this into that space in the one wheel. Get it nice and tight on there. And then what I did was I used my fusion hub to then put on the end here. Burn. Tighten that up nice. So that now this will not go anywhere because it's solid. Oh yeah. And obviously repeat for the other side. And yeah, soon enough you'll have your very own LED dragon staff. Woo! Now the next step is something that I haven't quite finished myself, but I wanted to put it out there and see what other people could come up with because we're gonna need to put our minds together on this one if we want a not $600 dragon LED hub setup. <laughs> so what I did was I just put some of that weather stripping on the edge here and taped that around just for a little bit of shock absorption. Not good enough. So what I was thinking either is putting a ring around the outside of all these and connecting them to keep it more solid or even just connecting something to here on the hub system to go out and like go just past there. I don't know. But regardless, you are definitely going to want to really spend some time and make sure this thing is structurally sound because it's not a flow prop. It's not meant to be dropped. And I uh, paid the price for that. I want to see what everyone comes up with on how to make these things work. And I'm in talks with the company. So hopefully we'll have an actual flow arts version of this sometime soon. But for now, let's see what we can come up with. So follow, like, share. If you enjoyed this tutorial, keep coming back for more. This is my first non-movement based tutorial, but if you like it, I'll keep them coming. So UFLO, Will, signing out.